Hi, this is Silver Fox A, and uh, this is a project that I have initiated to help or probably say a certain set of content to the open source community where they can get uh, the infrastructure and server related de details on their own, which I learned over these past few years. If you are in sync with my idea of helping the open source community or share my experience, please do subscribe my channel. It will motivate me to add more content. This is a continuation to my playlist creating RESTful APIs and this is the second video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to structure your project plus connect to the MySQL uh, database. There's one important stuff that I missed out in my previous video because of time constraint. There is a group. Now group is something, let's say, uh, let's, let's say post and you want all those uh, APIs to be clustered under that. You can use this group parameter, uh, sort of group method and you have a pattern let's say the post is one of the pattern which is common for this sort of uh, other sort of apis right let's say create and all the stuff that you can utilize and let's say uh, this, the function doesn't need any uh, argument and we want to utilize this app within the particular function so we we'll probably use the app uh, as a use and then pass the parameter of the variable right and now we we can just reclassify our the naming convention because post becomes our primary uh, layer a primary pattern and then it can follow up with create delete and all the sort of stuff now this get api can be let's say recent post recommended and all the things that we will do it later right once you are set up and connected to the database and how to write the controller logic will come to that okay you might want to just change the names okay i'll show you a organized uh, file structure that i follow up for all of my uh, project backend projects that makes it easier for us to organize our set of content along with it helps us to run multiple uh, development stages that is test and the uh, live uh, APS all together plus versioning system there's a version 1 version 2 and all the set of stuffs right so first we'll create include as a folder include is for the uh, database related operation and all the set of stuffs then we'll create another uh, let's say DB ops that's basically the database related operation uh, elements right let's say config and connecting to the database and all the set of stuff so within have within this let's say we have something called config so it, it it will basically store the defined uh, parameters equals to let's say uh, db host and uh, let's say db password and all, all the set of stuffs right plus it might have let's say you want to integrate to your service that is sms gateway it might have the api secret and all the set of stuffs now one more that we need is a database connection so this is this is the file where we'll connect our database okay or probably will utilize this to connect to the database okay there will be a directory that is called uh, db query say uh, this will hold all the sql queries kind of organized in a manner that uh, we, we can revert back to one of these whenever required so let's say uh, there will be a post query so we, we can specify specifically that this is all these queries are for post okay there's one more directory that is called db handler so this will handle all the controller logic part or not controller logic but all the logical operations so query holds all the queries and whatsoever logical operations that you need to write will probably add it up to or add it up here under db handlers so let's say something might come up like post handler so this is, has to do with the post now these are on uh, how to like basic structure to connect to the database and doing uh, those sort of operations now let's let's look into how, how you can fragment your apis let's say i want versions 1 version 2 version 3 and so on right plus i want let's say test version something such so what you can do is you can create a version folder or directory on the top layer itself and within that create a file called index we'll need one more that is hasty access first let's say we save this index.php and we need one more that is the hasty access so it's a, it's a hidden file so that is dot hasty access now within this we'll add um, certain apache config or else a rewrite engine code base or rules so this is rewrite engine on enabled and this is uh, uh, letting us pass through the files if requested and whatsoever request comes in index.php will, will will get this right so that's a rewrite uh, rule specified okay now let's say under a uh, version 1 i have a module called post so i'll create a separate directory for that okay and within that i have the same same files that is an index and a hasty access so hasty access we utilize just to ensure that whatever request comes in it goes to index.php so the slim can take care of from that uh, that, that point onwards you, you can copy paste this and probably uh, create a base file if required 
so that you need not you know not go for it every single time but can get it sorted at once now what we'll do is we'll uh, copy or cut the entire uh, parent layer code base paste it on our post directory now on on the on the post that you created for this what you can do is you can do indexing or probably documentation of your APIs if required or you can say for not one error or something right unauthorized access or some random uh, thing that you can put up maybe a static content okay now we'll go back to our post directory and under under index.vsp we'll copy paste everything now in this we certainly don't need the group because we have already created a cluster called uh, the, the the directory called post right so we, we can omit this once that's sorted what you can do is you can hit back postman and try to see uh, this particular api set and everything is working fine and you can create a base template that will make uh, the task easier i've already discussed about postman in case if you didn't uh, check the previous video i'll just put the link in the description uh, you probably want to have a look because this is really helpful to test the APIs plus create a documentation okay so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll need to start the server so last uh, what you can do is you can utilize a PHP to uh, run your local server okay so this is PHP's hyphen s s will be capital and then localhost and whatever the port number that you want this is the easiest way to uh, create your own local server that uh, that saves you time from <laughs> going through the map and uh, creating one that's easy but yeah it's cool okay now change the structure a bit as per our file structure so I'm assuming that entire folder will be uh, project will be under api.xyz.com right so what you can do api.xyz.com slash version 1 or whatever the version slash the module let's say post see right it works uh, this is just a structure project structure that I prefer and make, makes it way more easier and helps me to organize uh, this sort of things right and and whosoever comes in join the project can easily understand and navigate to that so that's why I just wanted to brief you anyway now let's get down to the main part that is connecting your SQL database so for that what you'll do is we'll define certain set of pointers like database name and all the stuffs in the config before that let's just start up MAMP or XAMPP or WAMP whatever you have to or to create your uh, PHP or also the database okay MySQL database if you have something else then it's totally cool we basically need a MySQL database to get it sorted now if you have MAMP and you come to this page they will show you all the details so this is your host okay this is the port number and username user password and uh, other set of details okay go back to Sli uh, sublime and uh, change or uh, add up the contents so the, our host is our uh, local host and we have a port right our port id a uh, port is a uh, double uh, triple eight nine for you it might be a uh, double three zero six that's the default one in case if it's in case if it's a default one you need not specify but if it's not you probably want to add it to the host then you have let's say database name we haven't created so i'll just keep it empty for the time being and then you have a uh, user right username so you can specify that as root for me it is root for you it can be different you might want to check now under our uh, define password we'll just enter our password whatever you have you don't want to do that right in case if you don't have a password you just leave it empty and we'll, we'll we won't configure it in the other one okay now we'll go back to our data we'll go to our database mysql php my admin to create our database so for this let's say i'll create something called slim api okay that will be the name of my database if you are going on production i would recommend you create a separate username or user account for this particular project that helps you uh, to maintain the security aspect okay now here uh, we'll create a class let's say the class name is uh, db connection maybe and we don't need to extend it for the timing we'll, we'll think about it later once we are doing more content okay and the pass argument it doesn't need any uh, so what we'll do is we'll create a private vari uh, variable that is let's say connection co double n and uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll in initiate this or initialize this uh, 
with our with our connection object okay we'll be using mysqli uh, probably in some other other tutorials i'll utilize video okay uh, i believe you are aware of that mysql is kind of uh, uh, it's good but it has some security uh, aspects because of which we are opting uh, in for mysqli okay uh, here we have created a m connect so let's say we want to have uh, some test can a test test uh, database right so later on what you can do is we can pass certain arguments uh, to the to the constructor and that will specify which which methods of functions that I want to uh, uh, redirect to right so let's say for this I have m connect that is my live uh, database I can have something called uh, m test connect so that will redirect to or also link to it to my test database we'll come to all those later on okay so we have created a mysql i connect so for that we need a db host as the first parameter and then you can go off with the user database or the username sorry and then you have a password and goes off with the database okay uh, database db database okay now once this is done what will do will uh one second okay done um, we will require this config file because you need to access this set of uh, variables that we have defined globally uh, it's in the same file direct uh, same directory so we will specify as config.php only okay the port we added it to the host for you if it's a default you need not do that but if it's not you probably want to do that add a port number okay once this is done we'll, we'll just print a normal statement if it's a success it's a success else if there's an error what is the error okay so that you are sure on this front that the database has been connected now we'll just see if there's any error okay if there we probably want to know what is the error so we'll just print a uh, echo a line which uh, states was the error okay so mysql i error connect error so whatever the connection error that will specify that okay sorry uh, okay and else uh, it's a success right we, we got through okay cool now once this is sorted okay we'll require the db connection uh, class or the, or the PHP file so that you can access the class Okay, that's under include db operations and uh, within that we have db connection.php okay once this is done what i'll do is um we'll we'll, uh, we'll uh, create a value uh, variable that is say db and we are uh, initializing say or uh, creating an instance of the class that is db connection and we have something called m connect right we want a variable as uh, that gives me the connection object okay so say m connect sorry one second m connect okay i'll just copy this one and paste it here so this is the, so this is returning me uh, the connection variable okay so that uh, database link up so i can i can go ahead and do um all the all these uh, database related operations using this okay now say so, um, we need to utilize that under our uh, under our um, url that is a get 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 parameter or get post so what we'll do is we'll try to hit this and see if we're getting a success response or not okay it's not so it's showing us some error so that's said uh, the connection unexpected one second um, okay so what we have to do is give a dollar sign so that's a variable there yeah. global okay okay so we missed one i here is it mysql i okay cool save it and uh, try to run there you go so you see the success response right if you liked what you just saw or it is helpful for you in a manner please do subscribe and keep following for more of this content that will help me um or probably that will encourage me to create more of videos.